It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's Friday reaction video time. Hopefully you're ready for this one. As you can see on the screen already, we've got Sir Spooks. We watched him in the last one. It was unreal. I will leave a link in the top right at the end of the video. So go click on that one after you've watched this one. Obviously, go over to his channel, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. And don't forget to do it on this one as well. But yeah, guys, without further ado, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Come on, Sir Spooks. Let's Hello, do this. Hello, everyone. My name is Sir Spooks. And today Hello, my we'll friend. take a look at the top five scariest videos that will steal your sleep. Okay. So, let's begin. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Number five. Come on. Let's start off strong. Let's start off strong like we did the last Video one. Video game technology has advanced so much in the past decade to the point where it seems more and more games are looking photorealistic and uh, companies are again. slowly moving away from the old gimmicky tactics of years past. Okay. It may be hard to remember, but back in the heyday of the Xbox Box One, there was an accessory for the console called Connect. the Kinect. Oh yes, which tried to be the next big thing for gaming. To be fair, it but was pretty cool. Really took off. In the following video published to YouTube by Marvin Kakuas in February of 2014, the uploader explains that he just found out the Kinect has a night vision feature. Yeah, and wants they use this for a lot of ghost viewers. hunting stuff, don't they? Seems fairly simple and straightforward, right? Yeah. Well, that is until the man flicks off the lights in the house. Take a good look in the kitchen right here. Oh yeah. Particularly where the fridge is. Well, this is a person. I'm gonna right? switch on the Holy night crap. vision for you guys. As you can see, it's just it lights up the whole room. It's actually. Oh, that's a moving. Um, I don't, they, I don't know if they have an app for this or whatnot, but uh, you also have this uh, version what of the. What the hell? There's like smoke that goes up as well. Infrared or something like that, and then uh, back to the dark. As you can see, all you can see is my Xbox controller. Back to vision. It's oh, and that's gone. An eerie oh, shadow -like that's figure gone. can be seen right above the fridge. Yeah, look at this. Before eventually disappearing as soon as Marvin turns on the. And then, like, it, yeah, like smoke comes up from it. That is weird. The only thing I can think of, I mean, the smoke is really weird. The only thing I can think of, right? So, it's his roommate in the in the background, and then this here is just the kettle maybe boiling. And obviously you can see the heat rising, but it's black smoke. So I don't know if it would be black, but that is, that is weird. Imagine seeing that on your connect afterwards, but it is a coincidence how he turns on infrared and night vision and then he disappears. So it's almost like, right, I'm going to turn infrared on and then night vision. And then you're going to quickly get out of there. When I pan it back, you're not going to be there anymore. So a bit of a coincidence. But that is weird, and the smoke is is quite strange. I mean, I suppose you could buy smoke bombs or something. I don't know, but yeah, that is weird. That looks creepy as hell. Imagine seeing that. Oh, yeah, that would be. I don't know. That'd be awesome. Like, I want to see stuff in the house. I really want to see stuff in my house. Like, I just want something to happen. I need something to happen. Connects night vision mode. In the description of the video. See, then he pans away. Right. Or infrared. When I watched the video later, I realized it's definitely got eyeballs, though. And what appears to be a mist of some sort on yeah. the upper right portion of the screen. Yeah, yeah. While I was filming, I did not notice it. Later, as you can see, that figure is completely gone. Yeah, that's I weird. Back to the Kinect's night vision. End quote. Also, like, this is lower than this. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's just a different angle, I think. Yeah, I think it's a different angle, which is a bit strange. But yeah, obviously this this person or whatever it was could easily duck down under here and then crawl out. Maybe I'm being obviously a skeptic here. I have to I have to play both sides because I mean it's pretty creepy. But there's there's normally always an explanation for it. You see. Quote. So what in the world could this unsuspecting man possibly have captured so suddenly? It camera? looks weird though. Is this that looks a really really weird? Entity? Perhaps this is just a strange trick. It reminds me of the zombie from Resident Either Evil way, 1 when he turns around at the donor, start. You may want to be careful the next time you fiddle around yeah, that's with weird. night vision settings. And he's got a really small neck as well. It's not bad. Good start. Number four. Come on then. Keep it going. The next video on this list comes from none other than Marvin Kakuas. 
the man who you just saw experienced some genuinely unsettling activity while trying to show off the night vision feature on his Xbox One Kinect. All right, same guy. This video in question was uploaded two months after that initial Kinect video. My house is indicating haunted. that whatever was in his house that day in February never yeah. left. Seven in the years of the upload. Well. Marvin explains the situation regarding what he caught on his Kinect's night vision camera before okay. stating that ever since that incident, some seriously strange things have been going on inside his house that he okay. can't explain. Is that not like psychological though? Like once you've seen something, you're going to automatically think that anything that happens in the house, like, I don't know, like a bit of paper falls on the floor or the remote control falls off or I don't know, something like that. You're instantly going to think, oh, it has to be a ghost. It must be. There's normally always an explanation for these kind of things, but your mind is automatically going to think, well, it's a ghost. Obviously, that's clearly a ghost. We've had it before. It must be the same thing. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, sometimes I think people jump to it being a ghost too quickly, but sometimes, hey, it could be right. In the following video, Marvin holds his camera in his hands as he walks around the house late at night. Okay, that looks All seems to be going well when something quite creepy happens out of nowhere. Yep. Have a listen. Alvin. What the f Oh, okay. Oh my god. I thought that was a kid just stood there then, but it wasn't. I, th I think it's, I think it's an ornament or a dog or something like that. Yeah, this, this here. Oh, okay, no, it's a toy. Oh my god, I thought it was a kid just stood there. I was like, what the hell is he doing in the dark? Ah, uh, it's one of these toys going off. I've had this before. I've had a toy go off randomly. Normally it's to do with batteries. Sometimes when batteries are dying, the uh, the thing will go off. About a minute later, Marvin can be heard calling out his niece's name, but he does not get any sort of response. Most likely because the child is sleeping or simply cannot hear him from wherever they are in the house. Weirdly enough, it was actually one of these as well. It was like a stroller thing. Uh, it was a blue one that I had, but... Yeah, I've I've had this happen before where the where it would just randomly go off. Very, very strange. I've also had it with a it was like a toy bird and for some reason it was like speaking in French. Like no idea. It obviously wasn't French, but yeah, I've I've had it before. It's 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 very strange, very strange. But, but I think it's, it's to do with batteries. In the video where Marvin enters the living room slash kitchen where he gets truly freaked out. Okay. And for good reason. Right. What the f***? What am I looking at? I, I, I completely missed whatever it was. It may be a little bit difficult to see, yeah. but if you look just carefully enough, you can see that the lamp in the room is seemingly moving all by itself, which obviously is enough oh, yeah, to okay. have an out, uh, and it's hard to blame him. Since this could video, be a draft, maybe, Robin where he's opened the door, to his YouTube but channel, I don't know if that would make me react like that. On an amusement park ride, and the other is one of him riding a motorcycle. But then on the flip side, as he's just said, he's, he's got, I mean, I don't know how many subscribers he's got now, but he had 52 subscribers. So he wasn't exactly doing it for fame because the next two videos he just does normal. But maybe that's the reason he was doing it to try and get famous because, you know, a lot of people do do that, to be fair. But yeah, the, the if my light started swinging, I, I don't know, but that wouldn't be my reaction at all. I think I'd just be stood there watching it and seeing if anything else happened. But. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's creepy in a way. Like, if, if suddenly my light started swinging, I'd be like, what the hell is going on? But I don't know. I don't know if I'd react like that. Maybe it's because I just want something to happen so bad. I'm not sure. Number three. Come on, then. In December of 2018, a YouTuber named Fair Boots uploaded a video in which he recalls a strange paranormal experience he had with some friends he had just moved to England with back in February of 2003. I don't know if he's going to read this out. The author says that he and his friends were fascinated okay. by the realm of the paranormal right. and would often talk about life and death, what comes after life or what doesn't come after life. 
Okay. One day, the group of this friends walked the streets of London and asked complete strangers if they knew where the most haunted place imaginable could be found. Eventually, they asked an older man this question at which point he pointed them in the direction of an old abandoned psychiatric hospital. Always. When the friends It is always psychiatric hospitals. Asylum. It always is. It is always one of them. Like, if ever you want to do ghost hunting, you have to go there. I think just the fact that it's a psychiatric ward is creepy in itself. I mean... You never know, you might come across someone. I mean, it's terrifying, but yeah, they're always, always the most haunted places. That and schools, always. Arrived, they realized. Oh, and churches, obviously, but F churches, man. That it had been demolished and replaced by a recent residential development. Frustrated, the friends kept walking on for several hours before eventually stumbling upon Roding Valley Park. In the park, the friends spent the remainder of the night inside while they smoked and talked about life. During their stay in the park, the group took a handful of photos. Upon first glance, these photos may look to be nothing out of the ordinary, but if you brighten them up and enhance the colors, you'll see that these photos are most definitely not normal. Okay. Take a look and see. Am I gonna see like a face Later that evening, we had a strange encounter. Right. The two of us felt a huge dip in temperature and started shivering. I didn't know what to make of it at that time, neither did they. Right. It felt weird though. We were all sitting at the bench at that moment and one of us decided to take a photo. What follows is a photo of some entity, something. We called it... What am I looking at? What the hell? Am I looking at the same picture here? I mean, there's no way that's the same picture as that. There's no way that's the same picture as that. How on earth One could you to take a photo. could what you know that photo to enhance it that much? Entity, something we called it Uvultu. To be fair, the light is there though. How would you know to enhance it that much? Like, that is not even the same picture. That was pitch black a minute ago. Now it's like almost like the sun setting. I don't know. I don't know if that's the same picture. As you can see, well, you can't see anything, but if you tweak up the brightness and contrast, you will be able to see what is in the photo. This is mental. This is like, it's like a completely different photo. This is like morning. This is like sunrise now. There's no way you can enhance it this much, surely. Whenever I see like other ghost videos and there's a picture and they enhance it, like even as it's slightly black, they only enhance it a little bit. This is like a different world right now. This can't be, this can't be right. We left the park at dawn and only when we got home did we notice what the photos contained. We proceeded to analyze all of them by tweaking the contrast and brightness and only then did we find out about the figure. But I don't understand how you could possibly know there was something there. Like from that first picture that I saw, that was completely pitch black. There's no way you'd enhance it that much to know that something's there. Unless one of the people was in the field and, you know, yeah, what that's the only thing I can think this of. YouTuber and his friends I mean, that looks terrifying. Night. To this day, the upload and his friends say they have absolutely no idea what they managed to capture in their yeah, that's pictures weird. that night. It looks but like it Bigfoot. hasn't left their minds even after all these years. Yeah, that's weird. It seems these friends love to go exploring, but I think it's more than safe to assume that they won't want to wander back into Roding Valley Park. But why would they randomly the take a picture side. of the field? I've never had an urge to take a picture of the field. Number two. All right, these are getting weird. These are getting weird. On May 25th. Also, I'd like to say all of these people are like very low subscribers, so it's not like you know they're doing it for like the paranormal stuff like to try and get their i don't know their channel big because all of them are quite low still so. 2015 a small youtube channel called white owl paranormal then again it is called paranormal so uploaded a genuinely bone chilling piece of footage that they filmed inside the whispers estate located in mitchell indiana okay 
But the Whispers estate is not just any ordinary building. Of course it's not. Far from it. In fact, the Whispers estate has quite the reputation for being haunted. Yep, normally Despite is. Despite this knowledge, the crew over at White Owl Paranormal let their curiosity get the better of them. Look at that room. Like, no wonder stuff happens when you've got your room set up like that. You're just asking. See, these, he these things here... Like, a bit of draft is going to knock them off, but it's the dolls, man. The dolls are creepy. The fact that there's two mirrors as well, that, that's a bit more... Uh, I suppose mirrors are normal. But the dolls! Them Why to dolls? ultimately wander inside to see if they can capture anything interesting. During the investigation, the cameraman sets down his camera and proceeds to use an EVP device in order to potentially okay. communicate with any spirits that may be in the area at the time. Yep. Yeah. This is what I want to do. And it seems as if the upload is going to have no such luck. Okay. But that quickly changes when out of nowhere something terrifying can be heard. Okay, talk to me. But listen. This is what I want to do. Oh my god, that is giving me chills. See, that's creepy. That's so creepy. I mean, it could be the guy whispering. I, I mean, I don't know exactly how they work. but Well, I mean, I know how they work. But to me, that just sounds like someone's whispering. But if that is not someone whispering, not only is it terrifying that there's another voice whispering, but it's also terrifying what he said. I can't wait to get you alone. That, I mean, technically he is alone anyway, but that's creepy. Static noise can be heard before eventually a raspy and oh, there's a shadow there as well. Saying, I can't wait to get you alone. Yeah, that's weird. There's also like a I don't know, like a footstep or like a, a knock. There's also a knock as well in between the two phrases. But there's there was a shadow there. I don't know if they'll pick that up like up on that. There was definitely a shadow there. Maybe that was the noise, maybe. If that wasn't chilling enough for you... Oh, maybe they will. ...carefully, yep. you can also see what appears to be some sort of shadow... Oh, okay, nice. ...in the hallway. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there. Yeah, I saw it. Was this strange figure responsible for that disturbing sentence? Yeah, that's weird. To this day, the folks over at... That's White creepy Alperin as well. ...have absolutely no idea... And it seems as though they may never get a concrete answer. Let's all just hope that they are wise enough to never set foot inside Mitchell, Indiana's. Nah, see, I'd go state back there for that again. reason. If I would, I need, I really want to do something like this. I need to get some equipment and just do something like this. Thing is, it's not going to work in my house because obviously nothing happens. So I need to go somewhere, like, and I need to get like EVPs and like an EMF and just, just a little tester, just to give it a little test. Just to see how rubbish it is or how legit it could be. Because every time I see this, I'm just like, why didn't they do this? Why did but then when you're in the heat of the moment, maybe I'm gonna be the one that's not going in there. You know what I'm saying? Like you lot are gonna be watching, going, why didn't he just go in there and just like see what it was? Which is what exactly what I was doing. But yeah, I need to do it. I want to do something like this, definitely. If they did. There is truly no telling what dangers could be waiting for them. Yeah, I would definitely go back though. I say that now. Number one. Okay, here we go. A YouTuber named Haunting Agent Cole One Agent is Cole. filming a video for his channel where he says that it's three in the morning and he cannot get to sleep because he thinks he heard a strange voice talking downstairs. Despite the fact that he's home alone, stating that his grandparents are out of town for the weekend. He looks about 10. Now, I don't know how many families grand especially grandparents grandparents are so like over the top with protection with like kids and that so i don't know i mean he looks 10 he might not be he might be 25 who knows but he looks about 10 now i don't know how likely it is that he's going to be left on his own in a house so I i'm not sure i'm not sure especially at three in the morning as well i mean you can always change the time I'm not sure. I'm honestly not Obviously, sure. Obviously, being a kid, you would be quite freaked out by hearing even the slightest noise that yep. seems out of place in the house. But impressively, Cole works up the courage to investigate the house. Perhaps just to make sure that he has nothing to worry about. He's also 
He's also so brave as well. A 10 year old. I remember when I was a 10 year old, I'd like, when I used to go to the toilet at night, I used to like run in there, turn every light on in the house and then run back and leave the lights on. Maybe it's just his imagination. Sadly for Cole, it's not. Okay. At one point in the video, Cole proceeds to slowly walk Why is that the only door open? He makes sure to check every room, ensuring his safety. Just He's 10. What do you mean ensuring his safety? He's 10. If there's someone in there, it's game over. I mean, it could be a really strong 10-year-old. He's obviously got balls because, well, I mean, he's just he's just going around. just doesn't even care. Well, it seems as if it's With a video camera on. That's a point. Why has he got a video camera? If my life is at risk, I'm not walking around with a video camera, especially at 10 years old. Something truly terrifying happens. Oh, God. Do you guys hear that? No. Wow, how old is this? Look at this Mac, whatever this iMac is. Holy. Oh, look at the TV, to be fair. VHS inside it. Jeez. Oh! Holy crap, that scared the hell out of me. Oh my god, did you hear that cry? Or laugh? He's also got dogs as well, so obviously he's, he's kind of protected with the dogs, but... Oh my god, that's giving me chills. That was horrendous. What was that this laugh? This what appears to be some sort of an office room. A creepy crying sound can be heard coming yeah. from nearby before a loud crashing noise causes Cole to flee from... But the, the, the laugh or the cry, it sounds like it's, like, underneath something. It sounds like it's... Or inside something, like inside the walls or something. It sounds like it's muffled. I mean, I guess it could be his brother, like, that's in the corner. Because I know I've played tricks like this on my brother before. But you, you play tricks on each other, and he could be in the corner, and he makes them... I don't know. But also, something gets knocked over, room, right? That's... Fast okay, the ladder moves. I think the ladder moves. Sadly, we never get a look at who or what could have made that strange crying noise. That baby we sound came from the room that we don't go inside. What the loud crashing sound Oops. was. To this day, should we go back Paul and listen? Has absolutely no idea what he heard inside the comfort of his own home that night, but it most certainly wasn't anything friendly. No, that was creepy. Should we watch it again? Thing happens. Do you guys hear that? I don't hear anything at the start. <laughs> Mother effer. I would, I would, my God, the camera would be thrown in that room at the floor at something. What the hell is this, by the way? Is this the TV? Yeah, I think that's the TV. It looks like a person. See, this is what I'm saying. Sometimes you see pictures. That looks like a person now. That's a head, shoulders. Arms, body. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes you see stuff and it and it looks like something. But like this ladder obviously gets knocked over, I guess. But yeah, that's that's horrifying. That is absolutely horrifying. We go back. <laughs> so weird. That is so weird. It sounds like he's laughing, like he's kind of crying, but laughing. Oh, yeah, that's giving me chills a little bit. That's that's really, really weird. Really weird. Seeing as how this video is now 10 years old, it's safe to assume years. that Cole is now a grown-up, living in a different house, away yeah. from the terrors of his childhood. Yeah. Hopefully, Cole is able to live in peace these days and not have to worry about the past. Let's just hope the childhood terrors don't follow him into adulthood. I uh, I can only imagine it's fake because I don't know what 10 year old is like that. He's got balls and he like just stands there with the camera. Oh my God. I'd been, oh God, I've been jumping in the bed. I'd been hiding. Oh God. I don't even know. But 10 years ago, 10 years ago, kids built different. So I don't know. I don't know that that's creepy. That laugh got me like crazy as well. Absolutely crazy. And there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy that one. This is Sir Spooks. Like I said at the start of the video, go over to his channel, subscribe, a like, do all that good stuff. 
hopefully you did enjoy this video and hopefully you do enjoy this channel if you do you know what to do smash that like button if you want to see more content like this subscribe we obviously post reaction videos on the friday but we do loads of horror stuff throughout the week a lot of ghost hunting stuff as well so hopefully you will enjoy that if you do subscribe but yeah guys thank you very much for watching have a lovely rest of the day and i'll catch you in the next one